Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Geminis. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Monday Motivational Reading. This is your Monday Motivational Reading. So on the 27th, uh, Gemini, we have uh, the first quarter moon in Gemini in your sign. So you'll know you landed on the bright side of the moon in Gemini if you're feeling more versatile, witty, charming, lively, amusing. But you'll also, in contrast, know the people who did not, if you notice that they feel disorganized and consistent consistent, superficial, cunning, or even manipulative. So let's get into it. I'm going to give you the questions again for the uh, that I gave everybody on either the 18th or 19th of February for the, uh, the questions for the moon in Gemini. So if you're interested in writing those questions out where you can focus on, you know, making this a great week for you, you all are a sign of uh, this is masculine air energy. Um, like Aquarius and Libra are also masculine air, divine masculine in air signs. Um, you all are, your sign is a very playful sign. It's a very creative. It's a very curious. It's a very interested sign. It's hungry for life. And uh, you all are the social butterflies, that kind of thing. And so you want to keep that vibrate, those vibrations very high. You're going through a lot of major changes here. Looking at the cards here, wow, a lot of major arcana. So the magician card, obviously, is uh, Mercury. That's your ruling planet, right? Yours and Virgo's ruling planet. Um, so you got clear messages that could be coming through a dream about something that may have happened in the past. You know, some people may have been talking about you in the past. Very negative, low vibrating energies trying to rear its ugly head. So if, um, and not only that, we have the Empress card. So if somebody is physically pregnant, Congratulations, first and foremost. But if you're not physically pregnant, you have the same sensitivity as a pregnant woman. And I'm talking to men and women, Geminis. So that same sensitivity is a gift. You want to pay attention to that. So that means if you've interacted with people in the past who, uh, you know, talked about you negatively, if you found out about it or whatever, and they're trying to resurface, and you may have felt foolish in the past, like, wow, um, you know, I was really, you know, my heart was in the right place towards certain people and they tried to play me for a fool or I felt foolish or whatever. Source was like, you don't need to feel foolish. You know, as a matter of fact, I don't see you feeling foolish. I see you feeling optimistic that you're now tuned in to your inner voice, which is source, right? Paying attention to that. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles. You've been working very, very hard. Um, uh, you've been using your time wisely to learn lessons about listening and tuning in to messages, right? So that's like that's like Gemini. You could have had um, you could have had a feeling, for instance, and I say that because of the High Priestess card, which is attached to the Moon. You could have had a feeling. Some people were talking about you behind your back, but you weren't really certain for sure, or that you could have had a feeling that something was going on behind your back, or you could whether it's a romantic relationship, friendship family relationship, you could have had a feeling that something was going on and you felt like, okay, I, I maybe I'm overthinking this and, you know, cause you're, you're a, you're a very smart sign, but I kind of need some proof, but it was becoming overwhelming for somebody. Something was becoming overwhelming. And again, only your ego would make you feel foolish. Like, you know, I feel like a fool, like I should have known this. I can, why didn't I know this? And why didn't I know that? Source is saying to you, you don't have to feel foolish. If anything, they just gave you the sword to cut themselves out of your universe for however long you want them out of your universe, right? Remember, it's your universe, right? So um, Source is like, it was good that you got as far away from those energies, whoever they are, as far away from those energies as possible and back to laser focusing on your purpose here on Earth. So congratulations to you for getting as far away from you know, like I said, energies that's trying to rear its ugly head. Some people are starting to realize that, hey, you know, they have no more access to your universe. And, and maybe you have just gone quiet. Maybe you've taken your air back. You know what I'm saying? Like cut off the air supply. I haven't called them. I haven't talked to them. I have, you know, nothing. They don't have the same level of access to me. And so, but they don't realize you're protecting your heart. You're staying as far away from them as possible. and You're protecting your heart. So pay attention, pay attention to those, that inner voice, that source giving, sending messages to you. So here we have the eight of cups and also the two of cups. It could have been somebody that you felt like was a soulmate. A soulmate is not always a love interest. It could be a love interest, but it may, it may, it could, it, it may be friends. Like somebody where you feel like, okay, this is a part of my soul tribe, my soul family, my soul circle, 
um, and it may have developed into a love relationship, but you're saying to yourself, I'm not waiting to be burned again before I walk away. This time I'm walking away into my own light, my own sunlight. So again, you're releasing whomever in love, whoever it is you're releasing, or, you know, it could be several, you know, it could be several energies, but you're releasing something in love and, and moving on from it. Um, it could be like your soul sister, soul brother, you know, it could be love interest, somebody ex from the past that you just kind of kept that door open just in case, you know, like, I don't really hate that person, but you know, it was kind of tricky, you know, it's kind of, and so something from the past is rearing its ugly head. And again, you've decided, no, I'm good. Let me go ahead and just get as far away from that. I don't even want to have anything to do with that. Somebody is going to start noticing that when you, when certain energies had access to you, the fact that you are such a highly intelligent sign and that you are, you're actually literally ruled by the messenger planet. You know, you and Virgos are ruled by the messenger planet. Somebody's going to start noticing that whenever you interacted with certain energies, it felt overwhelming. You know, so then when you, when you start interacting with other people, it just doesn't feel overwhelming. It's like, okay, this is like easy breezy. But if you, if you've been connected to certain people for so long, you almost expect relationships to feel like, okay, I feel drained. I feel overwhelmed. I don't know why, but here we have the queen of pentacles. The high priestess card came out again. La Luna came out again, which is the moon card. We have uh, nine of wands, the universe and seven of wands. So the high priestess came out again, 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 somebody is like, you know, super sensitive right now, which is great because sensitivity is a gift and something from your past that happened where there were some energies that didn't have somebody's best interest at heart. You know, it was already kind of a tricky situation to begin with. And source is saying to you, I'm sending energies across your path. That's not going to waste your time. They're not going to waste your time. Time is money. They're not going to waste your time. They're trying to help you, whether it's people you follow online, whether it's my channel, somebody else's channel, um, whether it is, you know, you hear a sermon at church, but something, so, source is sending in, energy across your path so that you don't feel like you're, you're insecure and unstable and that you don't have that vitality. They want to make, source is going to make sure you feel that like you have that vitality, that you feel secure, that you don't feel insecure, that you, you feel stable. Like you, you're not, you're not delusional, like source is helping you with that. So you'll be able to defend your decision to move on from certain energies without coming across as defensive. Because again, you feel motivated when you're not around certain energies. You feel powerful when you're around certain, and when you're, when you don't want certain energies don't have access to you versus enraged, angry, mad, you know, just going off on people, that kind of stuff. When you're not around certain people, it's like, because what their energy was doing when you didn't know exactly what was being said or what was being done, done behind your back, Gemini, and you feeling powerless and by default, because you are ruled by the messenger planet and your energy is directed outward, it came out of your mouth. So you just came out and just said whatever, however you felt. And it could have came out on the right person. It could have came out on the wrong person, but it, it could have come out. And so you're on the, you're at the end on the other side of a long and arduous journey of, um, you know, highs and lows with certain energies that may have burned, played a role in burning relationships with energies. And you're now identifying, okay, I need to listen to my intuition. So you're not necessarily associating time with loyalty and all of those things. You are, um, because somebody poured a lot of emotion into something, was, but was being manipulated by some people from your past. And so now you're learning how to nurture yourself. You're learning how to nurture yourself. You're learning how to take messages from the universe, which is good. It's very, very good. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Gemini's, let's see what else we have going on here. So again, this is a this is a this is a great week for everybody to be learning lessons about themselves, getting your heart chakra back in alignment. Somebody was just trying to the heart chakra is tricky because the heart chakra is trying to make connections, you know, trying to um to see 
commonalities like you could be saying oh but he was my these are my friends or this is my these are my family members and then find out something was done behind your back or this is somebody I love or we I've known them for years and we reconnected so you feel like okay well I'm just looking at the length of time I've known this energy instead of are they throwing your chakras out of alignment, right? Time is really relative. And so now that somebody has a clear picture of things, somebody's like, nope, I need to get as far away from certain energies as I possibly can. I'm moving on, you know, beyond all of this. Here we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Empress card. We have the Five of Cups, the Tower card, the Six of Wands, and also the Six of Pentacles. So here we have the Tower card. Here we have the tower card. So some things are like somebody tower card just means that you're having an awakening, really being able to identify what was an energy, what are energy leaks and what are energy hacks. Right. So somebody was looking for some kind of an approval for something. So some kind of an approval is coming your way. Um, and again, it could be in your personal life or your professional life. Remember, I'm talking about your entire universe. So somebody in your love life could be talking about you behind your back or your friendship could have been talking about you behind your back and you could be approved for a contract at work. So again, remember it's your entire universe. But again, um, here's the, here's the Empress card. Like I said, pregnancy, somebody could be pregnant, you know, again, but you're entering into a season of double abundance and prosperity on the other side. And so, whereas you may have felt foolish in the past, you're saying, I'm getting as far away from master manipulators, liars, gaslighters, psychopaths. I'm getting away from all of those energies, people who are holding on to secrets. I'm getting as far away from those as possible. And I'm just taking my power back. And so I do see you being victorious at taking your power back, especially since there's been some lamenting over this. Here we have the five of cups. It may have been some tears. It could have been some water like rain you could have felt like you were in a storm right so now that you're coming out of that storm you came out of the storm victoriously so congratulations and kudos to you gemini's for like i said before coming through learning lessons you know not repeating the same cycles of being burned and you know you've been enlightened and so somebody god got the message through the way god needed to get the message through you know, to you all. So let's see what else we got going on before we go ahead and close out your reading. Um, so the questions that, that I gave you all either on the 18th or 19th, the first question is, do you feel there's an area of your life that needs radical change, like your work, your relationships, well-being, home life? The second question is, what is getting in the way of you changing your story? The third question is, how could you inject more childlike curiosity into your life? And then last but not least is, who are the people, who are the five people you can get in touch with um, that could help you on your journey, right? Some of those people you may know that you can see in person or talk to them, or some of the people may be, you know, have influenced you on social media. But here we have chanting. So some kind of chant having to do with your the vision, how you see your life. How do you see your life going? You create some kind of a some kind of a chant um, for that. But the universe has been talking to somebody and it's been talking loud and clear. And so you may have had a tower moment before where messages were coming through and somebody was still afraid to act, but then boom, something happened. It's like, okay, God, you got my attention now. So um, somebody is somebody is paying attention. So conclusions are within your reach. Yep, conclusions are within your reach, are within your reach. Conclusions are within your reach. Nine, 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 I am unique. Thank the past for your lesson and leave it where it belongs so that you can make the best of life that is still being, that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you, Gemini, by only you. Make this a fun week. Make this really a, a week about, like I said, being at your highest frequency, Gemini, is about learning, being playful, being creative, you know, leaving the past behind, just closing out cycles and just moving on, moving forward. Like I said be before, somebody, the Empress card came out twice. Somebody could be physically pregnant with child. So if you are, congratulations. Or if there's a new grandchild or new baby in the family, congratulations to you. Sending good energy to you and your family's way. But even if there's not a baby involved, this still represents prosperity and abundance and a rebirth for you. So again, congratulations. I'm sending good energy your way. I will see you all on midweek Wednesday. We're going to pull one last card and let's go ahead and close this out. But yeah. 
let's go ahead and close this out so yeah we don't have control over people around us so we don't have a control over other human beings so if you notice somebody's landed on the dark side of the moon in gemini hey get as far away from that energy as possible you're too busy focusing on um your own positive affirmation so this one is about patience affirmations for patience i am here in this present moment i have all that i need i lack nothing time is relative Right now is all that matters. I wait with excitement. All good things come in due time. All is working for my highest good. That is what I have for you. And I will see you all on Midweek Wednesday. Bye.